What's up, guys? Welcome to Visualization. My name is Nestor Adriansen, and today we're gonna learn about some of the most useful shortcuts in Excel 2016. So, if you are one of those who love playing with a keyboard, this tutorial is for you, my friend. But before we get started, please let's make sure that you have subscribed to this channel because you don't wanna miss anything. All right, guys. No more talking and let's dig in. So today we're gonna learn about these 10 useful shortcuts. We're gonna learn about how to show or hide a ribbon, copy a sheet, hide columns, hide rows, move rows or columns, insert the same data into multiple cells at once, sum, start a new line of text inside a cell, current date, current time. This is gonna be fun and let's keep going. So the first shortcut, how to show or hide the ribbon. So we have right here two different options. It depends on your computer. So we can hold down Control and F1 at the same time, or we can hold down Control F N and F1 at the same time. In my case, I'm gonna use Control F N and F1 at the same time. So let's hold down Control F N and F1 and let's see what happens. That's what happens, guys. So this shortcut is very helpful if you wanna have more space, right? So let's say that you are working on a project that has many formulas and you need more space. So this shortcut is very helpful. If you wanna get back the ribbon, so you're gonna use the same shortcut, Control F N and F1 at the same time. So you have the shortcut right there again. That's how it works, guys. But in our case, let's hide the ribbon. Control F N F1. Now let's go to the second shortcut. Let's learn about how to copy a sheet. So in this case, we're gonna use control and then drag to the right or the left. It depends on where you wanna place the new tab. In this case, let's say that we wanna copy this tab right here. So this is what we're gonna do. So let's hold down control and then drag it to the right and then release it right there and let's see what happens. So now we have a new tab. So if we go back to examples, it's basically the same information. Examples two, the same information right there. Let's go back to examples. Now let's go to the next shortcut. How to hide columns. This is one of my favorite shortcuts because you can save a lot of time by doing this. So let's say that we want to hide column E. So what you can do is go to a cell within column E. So in this case, let's go to this cell right here and then hold down control and press zero at the same time. And let's see what happens. Boom, column E is hidden now. If you wanna go back to the previous step, go back. And now let's say that we wanna hide two columns, column E and F. So basically, Select these two cells, and now let's use the same shortcut. Hold down control and press zero at the same time. Boom, columns E and F are hidden now. That's how it works, guys. And let's go back to the previous step. Now let's go to the next shortcut. So the next shortcut is very similar, but in this case, we're gonna hide rows. Let's say that we wanna hide row 94. So we go right here any cell within that row. So then hold down control and press nine at the same time. And let's see what happens. Boom, as you can see right here, row 94 is hidden. And now let's go back to the previous step. So now let's learn how to move rows or columns. This is another awesome shortcut. I've been using this at work a lot. Let's say that we wanna move this column, the product claim column. We wanna move this column to the left. So let's select that column. And now let's hold down shift and drag this column to the left. And then you can see a vertical line and then release it right there. Boom, that's how it works, guys. So now let's say that we wanna move this row to the right. Same strategy here, hold down shift and then drag it to the right. Now you can see a vertical line and then release it right there. 
that's how it works. So very, very straightforward. And this is a very, very powerful shortcut, guys. So now let's go to the next shortcut. I've been using this shortcut a lot at work. How to insert the same data into multiple cells at once. You can save a lot of time by using this shortcut. Let's say that you want to fill out the number five in this table. So what we can do is basically select all the cells where you want to have number five, then press number five. And then this is how magic works, my friends. So hold down control and then press enter. And let's see what happens. Boom. We just fill out number five in every single cell. That's how it works. We can have another example if you want. Select all the cells. Let's say that you want to type right here, Power BI, just for the example. And then the same strategy here, hold down Control and then press Enter at the same time. And let's see what happens. Boom. You can save a lot of time here as well. Now let's go to the next shortcut. So this shortcut is a good one as well. How to sum by using shortcuts. So let's say that we want to sum all the numbers that are part of column H. So let's go to this cell right here and then let's hold down Alt and press equal at the same time. So automatically you can see that these numbers are selected and then hit enter and boom, there you have it. And we can do the same here for column I. Hold down Alt and then equal, enter, boom, there you have it. So now let's say that you want to sum these two numbers right here in the same row. You can do the same thing. Hold down Alt and press equal at the same time. And boom, there you have it. And then you can drag it down if you want, right? That's how it works. Very helpful shortcut. So now let's go to the next shortcut. Now we're going to learn about how to start a new line of text inside a cell. This is very helpful as well. Let's say that you want to type right here, this excelization, this excelization. So now let's say that you want to start a new line of text inside of the same cell. So what we can do is basically hold down Alt and press Enter. Boom. So now we can add right there, for example, Power BI if we want. And let's say that we want to add a new line. So we're going to hold down Alt and press Enter. And then let's type right there, tab layout. And that's how it works, guys. And then you can press Enter and let's see what happens. And you can have right here three different lines in the same cell. Very useful tool, guys. All right, so now let's go to the next shortcut. So now let's say that we want to have the current date by using a shortcut. Hold down Control and then press semicolon at the same time. And let's see what happens. Boom. Very simple, very straightforward. So now let's go to the next shortcut. So this shortcut is very helpful as well. So let's say that we want to have the current time. We go right here to the cell and then we're going to hold down control, shift and semicolon at the same time. And let's see what happens. Boom. That's how it works, guys. That's it, guys. These were some of the most useful shortcuts in Excel 2016. If you would like to learn more about shortcuts, you might want to check my previous tutorial about shortcuts. It's called 10 Excel shortcuts that will make you smarter than your peers. I will share with you guys the link as well if you want to check this out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys. Have a great day.